The worst part about taking a trailer to the track is that it's one more pair of keys you could forget. Well, hey, welcome back to Working Class Customs Trailer B, I guess. Today we're doing a trailer tour. It's both the compound and Stable B run trailers to the track. We got a little bit different, so we're gonna show you the differences and then kind of show you what we've done to set ours up to go to the track. Go ahead and like and comment. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more motorcycle content and let's get into it. So this is my five by eight trailer. It's a five foot wide, eight foot long, six foot tall. Pretty standard size, single axle. I like it, I like it a lot. I got a really good deal on it, which is why I bought it. Right, I paid about a thousand dollars for it. And I'd say the biggest thing that I love about it is also the thing that I hate the most about it or love the least, if you will. And that's the size, it being so small. So five by eight is perfect to do a lot of things, but too small to do everything. So the biggest thing I'd say advantage wise of having a small trailer is ease of use. I can take it pretty much anywhere. It barely tells behind any vehicle. You could tow it with a car if you really needed to. Super small, super easy to move around. It is a pain to park, to back up because it, anyway, it moves, moves really easily. But this one 3,500 pound axle wouldn't have the same capacity if I had a bigger trailer on a single axle. So if you're gonna stick single axle, the smaller the trailer you get, the more weight you can fit inside. Kind of just take that into consideration if you're picking out a new trailer. Man, it's nice having a trailer tall enough I don't hit my head. So I'd say the biggest complaint about a small trailer vice a bigger one is six foot ceiling. I'm short, that's good, but this freaking door. The door is about six inches smaller and I always forget that hit my head. Almost every time I'm walking in around the first, like the first time I'm good because I remember, but then I get going with loading and unloading and I forget and I hit my head on the door. Another thing to keep in mind. So first up, we got our spare tire. You always need a spare tire in a trailer. It's actually like, usually it's required, something like that. But the biggest thing I'm gonna say about a spare tire, this just goes for hauling a trailer in general. I gotta put this out there. Always check your tire pressure and your spare. You should do it on your vehicle too, but always check your tire pressure. Because the worst case scenario, you get out there, you pop a tire, you gotta use a spare and then your spare has no air in it. Now it's useless. You might as well just not have one with you. I uh, built this little mount to put it up on the wall here to keep it out of the weather. And so it's kind of up and out of the way. Don't mind it too much. Sometimes it gets in the way a little bit, but again, small trailer problems. That's just what you kind of deal with. Moving up from there, I just always keep my straps in my trailer. Makes it a lot easier. I have enough straps for two bikes, and then I always just have one extra in case whatever else I need to strap down, I can. Put in some nice little hooks, just your standard J hooks, exactly what you'd expect uh, to hang, you know, your electrical cords, suit, whatever else you might have that needs hung up. Just kind of gets hung on those hooks. Then moving up to the front of the trailer here, I have my two kind of bigger, heavier duty hooks along with my little bungee cords. And that's where we keep our front and rear stands. They stay right up here at the front of the trailer, kind of up and out of the ways. So my goal with my trailer was that when setting it up anyway, everything that I take with me every time should have a dedicated spot. My front and rear stands go here, the bikes go in the chocks, my suit goes on this hanger, my electrical cord goes on the next hanger, the tire is always there. Everything's got a dedicated spot. That way I know what room I'm working with if I need to bring extra stuff. Then moving on to our wall here, it's just where I've got my track maps. So I personally try and collect a map from every track I've been to one so that throughout the day right I'll collect this in the morning and then throughout the day I can go back and be like man turn you know maybe I'm talking to my buddy or talking to whoever back in the pits and be like yeah right there turn five man you cut that like kind of more inside or you stay on the outside or what do you you know whatever track conversations you might be having it's nice to have up there and then also just as a reminder or if you're say you're at a track that you've been to your buddy's been to and you've got one that he hasn't been to you can kind of show them right and compare turn to turn kind of sweet that way there are many different ways to secure a motor Motorcycle. motorcycle chocks, my personal favorite. We'll get to that in a second, that's what I'm using. In the back of your pickup truck, you can just use straps. I've seen the Pitbull rear motorcycle tire restraint system. It's a little pricey, but it's pretty sweet. If you haven't seen that, take a look at it. I wanna get one, just haven't gotten to it yet. Here I've got the Condor motorcycle chock. What can I say about it? It is not cheap. I bought one of them. The other already would be in the trailer and this trailer was set up to haul one bike directly down the center. I bought the second because I knew I wanted to put two bikes in here. I could take a friend with me that way. I could take a back a bike, I could take a pit bike, whatever it might be. So the two chocks allow me to do that. I like the Condor a lot. It's super adjustable. You can move the this back part. It's got one, two, three, four, five different positions. They're all uh, about an inch apart, half inch to an inch apart. And then these motorcycle chocks are sweet because, I'll try and get it going for you here. You bring your motorcycle in. This is a rear tire, so imagine a front with me. And you just ride it in. 
it closes and then it stays there and it's actually pretty stable. I still strap down my bike every time. I use the Canyon Dancers right here. Put a link for those down in the description, but I still strap my bike down every time. The chalk is, just makes it so much easier because you can ride it up in and it's done. You can get off it, you can move around, you can go do something else, load something else first, whatever you need to do. It will stay in that general location. Strap it down before you get moving anywhere just in case it bounces and whatnot. But for the most part, it will stay there when you're just sitting in the parking lot. To finish up, once again, five by eight trailer. Is it big enough for two bikes? Yes. Is it great for what I want to do? Absolutely, right? I can take up to two bikes to the racetrack with me. The best part for me is that it's small enough that I don't feel bad pulling it out to take a bike to the shop or go help someone purchase a new bike that needs to have a trailer or go purchase a new bike myself that I don't want to haul. The perfect size to just haul up to two bikes. That's it. Anything more than that, you're done. I have slept in this before. I put a cot in there. That's not too bad. So it's like big enough for that. But anything more than two bikes and small trips and it's not going to work for you. So just keep that in mind. Again, when you're looking at trailers, five by eight could be a little bit below what you actually need. All right, we'll go ahead and get this thing closed up and head on over to the compound. Oh man, welcome to Utah, compound A. It is nice having a man door. What I have here is a Hallmark 15 by five. Went with a Hallmark because they're manufactured right here in good old Utah in Ogden. Single axle, 3,500 pounds, good enough for what I'm using. Let me give you a tour inside. This is my race trailer. Got a lot of things in here. Come on, I'll show you. Every good trailer needs some storage. I like to set mine up with everything so I don't have to pack. You wanna make it just as convenient and as easy as possible, just to jump in the truck, hook up, go to the track. Obviously I'm missing the most important part, the bikes at the moment, but we'll show you what we got. Starting up front, most important part, we're starting with the wheel chocks. I go with a system here, it's called Bolted On, made in the USA. You should go and check them out, we'll put a link. The thing I really love about this, it's the whole system is tied down with these J-hooks, so I can take this out, I can move it into my toy hauler, I can move it into any other trailer that has just your standard D-rings in the floor. The other good thing about it, everything is fully adjustable. If you are only hauling one bike one day or two bikes, I can, I can move the chocks to wherever I want. Everything pops in with a pop pin. Additionally, you have tie down straps that can also move along the rail. Works very well for what I'm doing. Uh, you pop this down, pull the bike in, it's gonna click in place. It's gonna hold it there long enough for you to get it strapped down. Really like this system. Another thing to point out, they're offset. You can configure these any, any number of ways that you want. I went with an offset so you're not messing with handlebars. It allows you to put bikes a lot closer together without them interfering with each other. So after the wheel chocks, I mean, you got this V-nose that's underutilized. So I built me a bench up here so that I can tear things apart at the track. I can store all the random things that are always flying around a trailer. The toolbox is from US General. It's actually designed as a side box for one of their toolboxes. It worked perfect dimension wise for me to fit underneath the table. Adds extra support. Nice to have all your tools there with you. Really good company I've had really good luck with is Pit Posse Motorsports. You can get them right on Amazon, anything. Got some towels for them dirty hands. Got a nice place to put your keys and wallet when you're, you don't like to carry those on the track too often with you. Bike tie downs, you can never have enough tie downs as you can see. I like to use these Canyon Dancers, put a link to these also in the description. One thing I will say, I have a love-hate relationship with these. They work great for your bike, but if you're like me and you like to throw bar end mirrors on, all of a sudden the mirrors get in the way of you utilizing these, they fit over the handlebars. Additionally, if you're racing and you have to have a clutch lever guard, all of a sudden these don't work anymore without taking that off every time you go. A little bit inconvenient, but for a standard bike with standard mirrors, these are Absolutely the ticket. Uh, we have multiple straps. Again, can't have too many straps. This side of the trailer, like to keep the ra race suit fresh, ready to go. Never want to forget anything when you go to the track. So also by Pit Posse Motorsports, I have the helmet rack. Nice place for my gloves, my helmet up top. Got my additional visor for, you know, them cloudy days so I can switch to a clear. Chairs, people get mad when they don't have a chair to sit in. Make sure they never get forgotten. Additionally, I have a small table here that I can put on the outside that I've, you know, build a mount into the wall so that I can keep that stored. 
Everybody needs a good canopy when you're at the track for hanging out, keeping as cool as possible. Also, fresh rubber. It's always good to have fresh rubber. Uh, this is a tire stand built by Working Class Customs. Keep a, keep a spare set of tires, whether you're gonna need rain tires or whether you're gonna just need a fresh set, you know, somewhere during the day on a track day. This particular one holds two sets. We only have one mounted now. Also a spare tire. It is very important to have a spare tire in the trailer, especially when you're running a single axle trailer. Also, the tracks that I visit, I like to, to get a track map, stick it on the wall. It's always a good thing to refresh, you know, be able to pay attention, take a look at it. Thanks for taking a tour of my trailer. Hope to see you at the track. If you have any questions about any of the things you've seen inside the trailer, please feel free to comment. Be happy to let you know where we got the stuff and help you out any way we can. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.